This is Bill at Highland Wolf Farm, and I'm going to show you today how you can turn plants that are growing in your habitat into more plants. This is red twig dogwood. It's very easy to grow dogwood, and I'm going to show you how to make a mini greenhouse out of a milk carton or a water carton. And we're going to use a soda bottle top as well. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the soda bottle top and we're going to punch a little hole in it. And I do that by using this clipper and I punch a hole in it. Bingo! Like that. And a little hole and now water can drip through there very easily. So what we're going to do is use that later on in the video and you'll see how we do it. And that's going to go back on here like that. Now what we do is we take this milk carton and we cut it on the bottom. That gives us some drain holes. This is a very easy way to grow plants for your habitat because you don't have to buy plants. You can recycle things. Like make a cut there. And now I'm going to cut around this plant, this pot. Don't cut it all. There, that's done. Now fold this over. This. Now I take some high quality potting soil and I put it right in here. And I like to bring it in and just get it so it's patted down a little bit like that. Okay, now this is rooting hormone. We're going to use that on these plants. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these and we're going to cut that off to about there. And I'm going to cut back some of this extra foliage. It's not needed. Okay. And I'm going to cut the flower to shoot off because that's not needed. Okay. And I'm going to dip it and stick it in here like that. Now, if there's any of these leaves are too long, I'm going to cut that off because that's not necessary. There, like that. Now, I'm going to take the next stem. Okay. Do the same with that. Cut these leaves off a little bit. It's not necessary. Dip it. And stick it. Do the next one. Dip it. And stick it. Now I close this up nice and easy. The plants are in there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal this somewhat. I'm going to use some scotch tape for that. I'm going to line this up so it's nice and pretty where it was when it was before it was cut. Just like that. That connects nice and pretty. And I use three pieces of tape on each one of these. And that helps hold it together so I can pick it up and move it. And one over here. Okay, now this goes on top of here. Now it doesn't fit very well, so what you have to do is you have to push it in. There, it snaps in place. Now you can see that's on there. It won't come off. And now I can feed water in here, and it'll just drip through and just drip in there. Now we're going to take this. You will come with me. And here are some examples of plants we've already rooted out with this technique. And we're going to take it over to another place where we store it. We're going to set it right here. Now as you can see, these were done earlier today. And this was the first one done today, the second and the third. And you can see how the water is just slowly dripping down. The first one is lower, not quite as low, a little bit higher. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a water bucket and fill it up. There, and that's it. And it'll slowly trickle down in there, as you can see. And you can grow thousands of plants here just this way, as we do. 
And sometimes you can put three or four or five of them in each of these pots. Some of these have quite a number of plants in them. And it takes a couple of weeks for them to root out. And once they root out, we put them in a little larger pot and grow them out a little further. And then we sell them to unsuspecting customers that don't know how easy it is to grow these things on their own. But now you know, so you don't have to buy them. And in fact, you can grow thousands of plants on your property, on your habitat, and sell them, and also have them for your habitat. And you can grow all kinds of plants using this technique. And if you have any questions about how to grow plants for your habitat, don't hesitate to call. Call me at Highland Hill Farm. This is Bill, and my phone number is 215-651-8382. And you have a good hunting season. We'll see you. Bye. This video was produced at Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And these are our green giant arborvitas. Call us for your screening tree needs at 215-651-8329.